you have for them? How, sh how can they be happy? You should think happy and then you should be happy. Think happy? How can I think happy? Uh, like, suppose you can imagine that I, ha I, I am writing two books or maybe I have a big trophy and I'm famous. Maybe you can imagine that and then you can you can be a little happy or maybe you can also refer to these books yeah. book and then think whatever you want and maybe eat your favorite food and then be happy. <laughs> That's correct. Yeah. And um, so here is a very important thing out of that book. Look at that. I can read that. It says traveling with mom and dad. Right? A simple thing like that can make us happy, right? So, in order to what Anisha is saying, and if I'm getting it right, what she's saying is that you don't have to really do very big things to be happy, right? Yes. Small things can and cause also make us happy. That's correct, right? Usually people are looking for the big things. Yes. And that's what, when they don't get it, they become unhappy. That's correct. So first, if you want to achieve a big thing, yeah. you should try to do a small thing. A small thing, yeah. Then go to a little higher level and then achieve a big, you know, award. Uh, okay, good. So let me ask you now, do you also have some big things to achieve in life? What is your goal? Like you are you're still in class 1, right? Yes. Going to class 2, right? Yes. Right, so, so what is your big goal? Do you have something like a big ah. aspiration? What's that? My mother in school, she hoist a flag. So even I want to hoist a flag. Hoist a flag? Yes, in yeah. school. So Anesha, you always confuse me. Now I am confused. Why do you want to hoist a flag? Because in school, hoisting a flag is a big thing. Ah, you mean hoisting a flag as the main person in the school, right? Right, like everybody. So basically what you are saying is you want to become famous. No, not, I don't want to become famous. Okay. It's not, it's okay if I don't become famous. Okay. I just want, uh, I just want to hoist a flag in school. That is my big, that yeah. is the thing that gives me, gives me happiness. Happiness. Think. That's correct. Have you thought about which school that is going to be? St. Mary's, the same school where you are studying right now. Yes. Okay, the same school where she is studying right now, you want to hoist a flag in that school. Yes. That would be your big, big goal, right? Okay, excellent. Now, let's talk a little bit about, uh, by the way, audience also wants to ask you a few questions. So before that, let's give them a little bit of an introduction to the second book. Do you know, people here, do you know that Anisha has written a book about vocabulary through imagery I believe, and tell me Anisha if I am right or wrong, she says that if you can enhance your memory, you can become good at remembering things. Is that true? Uh, yes, but for that you need to visualize okay. and keep it in your mind. Okay. Visualize and keep it in your mind. This is confusing again. How do I... Usually I keep things in my mind only. I don't keep them anywhere else, but I still forget. And we focus while you are visualizing. Okay. Sometimes many people like they close their eyes and when they are visualizing, they suddenly. Just keep it in mind. Yeah. See. Yeah. Go ahead. They suddenly their mind goes towards the playground. Mm, or good. sometimes their mind goes towards playing with their friends. That's correct. So while you are studying. Uh -huh. We need the focus or while we need focus on your books or whatever you are studying. Right. So, hmm. same way, hmm. visualization hmm. will also help increase your vocabulary or maybe it can help remembering things. Remembering things, okay. So let me give you my life's problem, okay? And you solve my life's problem. My life's problem is I can't remember names of people. You have already 6 years. You have two books. 
तो कब सोचा आपने इन दोनों बुक लिखने का जब मैं पाँच साल की थी और छः महीने पाँच साल और छः महीने I was very eager to go in WBR, the World Book of Records. So one day I said, now this dream should come true. Because it's not a stupid dream that go out to play for 6, 6, 7, 7 hours. So I thought, I, as I said, I thought to write a book when I was reading. So that, I thought that that is a little easy, little, it's not a little easy. When I started writing it, I found it a little difficult and sometimes a little easy. So, when it was difficult, I thought for three seconds, four seconds. I took my time to think and then I wrote these books. Right. When I was writing, I said, uh, what thought shall I write first? So I thought that maybe I can write Mama and Papa first. So I wrote that first. And that break, uh, like, because of that, I am in this type of a place where everyone is appreciating me. And I am proud of that. You have two books. What are you going to do in the future? In the future, my aim is to write another book. When? Next year, 